Okay, page three of our review, I'm given a graph and asked to come up with the equation of this function. So immediately I can look at this and tell this is based upon the absolute value of x. And we know that that graph looks like this, okay? So I just need to figure out what transformations have occurred, okay? So the best way with this one is to look at that origin. So the graph had to move from here to here. So that move is one, two, three to the left and four up. So three, excuse me, three to the right and four up. And that's my transformation. There's not a reflection about the axis. So this function will be the absolute value of x minus three plus four. The domain of this function is negative infinity to infinity. The range of this function is 4 to infinity. Where is this function increasing? This function is increasing over this interval. That's where my function is rising. That interval is, what is it, 3? So that interval is 3 to infinity. Okay. Intervals of increase and decrease are always parentheses. Okay. So that's where the function is increasing. And let's look at the last problem here. Um, if I've got um, f of x is x plus square root of x plus 5 minus 4. So let's write that down. f of x equal square root of x plus 5 minus 4. If I were to move that function two units to the left, okay, so there's one of my clues two units to the left and one unit upward. What would the new equation be? Okay, so to move a graph up, that's just going to be plus one. And if I'm moving it two units to the left, that's just going to be a plus two. Because remember, when I go to the left on the horizontal, that's the pluses. And when I go to the right, that's the minus. So it looks like this new function is going to be f of x equals the square root of x plus 7 minus 3. Okay, so that tells me that the purple was my original function here. So that's my original function. And if I take that function and move it to the left by 2 and 1 upward, then you see where it goes. So it's f of x is square root of x plus 7 um, minus 3. Okay, that's it. Now, some of these might look easier than what you might see on the test. Uh, there were very few reflections about the x-axis, so you guys are good with that. So you might see more reflections about the x-axis. And when you might see in these problems, it might look like the ones I did in class where instead of just saying graph it, I may ask you, was it reflected? Is it moved to the left or right? Is it moved up or down? What's the domain? What's the range? Things like that. Increasing, decreasing. So you might get more questions along with uh, each of these. Okay, that should be it. Thanks.